Today I'm going to demonstrate how to add a glowing fade in, fade out animation to your call to action button on your social media ad. So to do this with your Photoshop file open, you'll go to Window, Timeline, and you're going to create a frame animation. So in your timeline, you'll see you have a frame that's added down here. We're going to adjust the timing so that's 0.1 second for now. And we can continue to adjust that later if we need to. And then we're going to add a duplicate frame. Now to add that glowing animation, we're going to have to take your call to action button and duplicate those layers. So I have the, the button and the text as my top two layers, just so they're easily accessible and holding the shift key, I'm going to select both of those and then right click to duplicate those layers. Now from here, we can add some layer effects. I already have a stroke on the text, but I'm gonna go ahead and add an outer glow to the text as well. And you can adjust the spread and the size. And I'm gonna take that stroke and I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. And once you have it to the look that you like, you can then just hit OK. And you can do other things here if you wanted to add a little bit of a drop shadow, an inner shadow, all of those things you can add as well. Now I want to add a glow to the button as well. So I'm going to go to that copied layer and add an outer glow as well. I want to use the green color from the logo for this. So I'm going to use the color picker and select that green. I'm going to change the screen mode to normal and then adjust the spread and the size. And once you get that to where you like that, can hit OK. So now when we go back to the timeline, if I click on the first frame, you can see it's the first rendition of what we put together. And then the second frame has the glow. So from here, I want this to fade in and fade out. So I'm going to take the first frame and I'm going to make a copy of it. And we're going to move this frame to the end of the, the frames. So if I were to play this back now, you can see it sort of flashes, but we want it to fade in and out. So to do that, we have to add what's called a tween. So let's select the first frame and hold the shift key and click the second frame. And then this button adds a tween between those frames. So I'm going to go ahead and add six frames. And you can, you can play with this. The more frames you have, the smoother it's going to look. So now you can see how it fades in. We also want to add that to the last couple frames so it fades out as well. So I'm going to select that second to last frame and the last frame and add that tween there as well. So if we start from the beginning and hit play, you'll see how it fades in and out. To save this, 
you'll want to make sure you save your Photoshop file first. And then you can save a copy. And choose GIF as your file type. Once that's saved, you can then right click and you can preview it by opening it in a browser. So I'm just going to choose Safari. And then you can see the preview of your animated GIF.